Death is a strange thing. It's an inevitable part of life. It's very close to us and every single living being, yet it's still incredibly mysterious. Under most circumstances, we see death as a tragedy, something to mourn about, and to cry for. But then there are also those rare cases where dark humor gets the better of us. Under very particular situations, we learn to see death with a different face, a lighter, far more illuminating tone that might at least allow us to learn something from other people's mistakes. Continue to watch us as we have today the top 10 strangest deaths in history. Number 10. Mary, Queen of Scots After a letter indicating a conspiracy to murder her cousin Queen Elizabeth I serviced, Mary, Queen of Scots, was sentenced to death. Mary was carried out to the execution block on February 8, 1587, to be decapitated by a man named Bull and his assistant. Bull's first blow completely missed Mary's neck and struck the back of her head. His second strike didn't help much, and Mary's skull was only held together by a strand of sinew. Bull finally sawed Mary's head from her shoulders with an axe and held it aloft by her hair, her lips still twitching. Mary's hair, unfortunately, was a wig, and her head fell to the ground. Mary's dog selected this time to peek out from beneath her skirts, adding to the weirdness of the execution. Number 9. King Alexander I From 1917 to 1920, Alexander was king of Greece. Throughout his life, he sparked controversy by marrying a commoner, a Greek woman named Aspasia Menos. Alexander tried to stop his German shepherd from attacking his steward's pet monkey, a Barbary macaw, while walking through the grounds of his palace. Alexander was assaulted by another monkey who bit him on the leg and body while doing so. Alexander requested that his wounds be washed and treated, but not cauterized, and that the incident not be made public. Alexander died five days after the monkey bite became seriously infected. Number 8. King Edward II Edward II was forced to abdicate and was imprisoned in 1327 because of his supposed homosexual relationship with Piers Gaveston. There were many rumors about Edward's death. Christopher Marlowe, an English playwright, immortalized a familiar story that circulated among contemporary chroniclers. In this narrative, Edward was pinned to the ground by his assassins and had a red-hot poker thrust into his anus. Number 7. Martin of Aragon Martin of Aragon reigned as King of Aragon from 1396 to 1410. When he died in mysterious circumstances, his death has been attributed to various causes. One account claims he died of the plague, while another claims he died of kidney failure or poison. Martin died of dyspepsia and laughing, according to another legend. When the king's court jester entered the room one night, he was suffering from terrible indigestion, after eating an entire goose. When Martin inquired about Bora the jester's whereabouts, he responded with a joke about a deer he had spotted in the vineyard. The ill king died of laughter when he heard the remark. Number 6. Attila the Hun Attila the Hun established a massive empire across Eurasia for his people, nearly bringing the Western and Eastern Roman empires to their knees. Despite his warlord achievements, Attila died of a nosebleed. Attila held a feast in 453 to commemorate his recent marriage to Ildico. Ildico was famed for her extraordinary beauty, and he had married a slew of other women. He drank a lot of wine at the party, and he had a bad nosebleed when he passed out on his back in bed. Due to his intoxication, Attila was unable to wake up, and blood poured down his mouth, choking him to death. Number 5. Pope Adrian IV Pope Adrian IV, born Nicholas Breakspear, is the only Englishman ever to be elected pope. Adrian was immersed in a diplomatic dispute with Frederick I, the Holy Roman Emperor, when he died. Adrian died after choking on a fly floating in his wine glass just as the Emperor was excommunicated. Number 4. Sigurd the Mighty In the 9th century, Sigurd Esteinsson was an Earl of Orkney. His exploits during the Viking invasion of Scotland earned him the moniker The Mighty. A beheaded rival's tooth caused Sigurd's peculiar death. Sigurd beheaded his enemy, Mile Brigte, after tricking and killing him near the conclusion of his reign. He then mounted Brigte's head as a trophy on his saddle. Brigte's tooth touched Sigurd's leg, causing it to become inflamed as he rode away. The scratch quickly turned into a severe infection, killing the Viking warlord. Number 3. Captain Edward Teach, Blackbeard For 300 years, Blackbeard's fearsome reputation for robbery and cruelty has endured. He's known for establishing a pirate coalition to blockade Charlestown Port and kidnap its citizens. Lieutenant Robert Maynard of HMS Pearl conducted a surprise attack on Blackbeard while entertaining guests on board his ship on November 21, 1718. After a hard battle, Maynard's men surrounded Blackbeard and began shooting him and slashing him with their swords. 
After suffering a staggering amount of wounds, Blackbeard eventually died. An autopsy revealed that he had been shot five times and had 20 sword wounds. A letter discovered on his body showed the governor of North Carolina was conspiring with Blackbeard and his pirates, which was equally stunning. Number 2. Adolf Fedrik, King of Sweden From 1751 to 1771, Adolf Fedrik was King of Sweden, known as a feeble but tranquil monarch. Making snuff boxes and good dining were two of his lifetime loves. Frederick died on February 12, 1771, after eating an especially large lunch. He ate lobster, caviar, sauerkraut, and kippers while drinking huge amounts of champagne at his supper. This was followed by 14 dishes of sembla and a sweet bun served in hot milk, which was his favorite dessert. This incredible amount of food ended the king's life, and he was one of the few kings in history to have eaten himself to death. Number 1. Rasputin Grigory Rasputin, a Russian mystic, healer, and social figure, lived a life almost as unique as his death. Born into a peasant family in a small Siberian village, Rasputin became good friends with the last Russian Tsar and his wife Alexandra. Rasputin's claimed skills were supposed to be used by the royal family to heal their son, who had hemophilia. He swiftly rose to prominence in the Romanov court. Rumors circulated that he was having an affair with Saria Alexander herself. A group of aristocrats and right-wing politicians plotted to assassinate Rasputin because of his influence over the royal family. They began by poisoning Rasputin with cyanide lace pastries, but these had no impact on the monk. Rasputin then calmly requested and drank three full glasses of Madeira wine, which had also been poisoned by the aristocrats. The stunning nobility shot Rasputin in the chest with a handgun when he displayed no signs of illness. They approached his body, believing he was dead. Rasputin charged at them and then ran into a royal courtyard. The nobility pursued him and shot him once more, this time in the head. The conspirators wrapped Rasputin's body in a blanket. They tossed it into a river to be sure they had accomplished the job. And that is it for today's video. Are you familiar with any of these stories? Which one of them do you think had the strangest death? Share it in the comments below. Please give us a like and subscribe to our channel, District 10 TV, for more videos like this. Thank you for watching, and see you in our next video.